Hi, this is Lucia with The Art of Love. I'm very excited to be doing this week's podcast because I know it's going to clear up a lot of myths about dating and breakups. I am going to speak about the reason that anyone ever breaks up with anyone. There's only one reason. They may say it was something else, but that's only a symptom of this one thing, and that is interest level. When someone breaks up with you, it's because they have a low interest level. So it doesn't matter what the reason behind that was, what the symptoms were that led to the interest level going down. It's always and only about interest level. Because when someone has high interest level in you, they are not breaking up with you no matter what. Interest level cuts through everything. And I first heard about it from Doc Love, who you may or may not know. He's the dating expert for AskMen.com. I was lucky enough to be on his show many years ago, and I later returned the favor and had him on my show, and he's great. And when I first heard this concept, I thought, yes, that really makes sense. It's all about interest level. When someone has a high interest level, they will believe anything you say. That's why they can catch you cheating, and you can say something crazy like, it's not what you think, it's not what you think, and they'll be like, okay. (laughs) Whereas if they have a low interest level and they catch you cheating, you're out. Another thing that happens when someone has a high interest level is that they cannot control what they say. I'm sure this has happened to you when you really like someone, you meet someone, and you really like them, and you just end up saying the stupidest things, and then you look back and you're like, what? (laughs) What was that all about? What did I just say? That's because when your interest level is in the 90s, you cannot control what you say. So your only goal in the beginning, definitely the first 10 dates, is to raise interest level. So everything you do, everything you say is about raising the interest level or at least keeping it the same and not lowering it. So I'm going to go through a list of things that lower interest level. Okay, so let's start off with you want to keep it light, you want to keep it upbeat and fun and funny. So do not discuss heavy topics. That will lower interest level. You may recall a podcast I did a while back where uh, a woman, her boyfriend ended up breaking up with her because she started discussing how the finances would be split after only three months of dating. And I said that was way too soon. That's way too heavy a topic in the beginning. Whereas if she had waited and waited until his interest level was high, then Whatever she said, he would have agreed to. He would have said, sure, no problem. I don't care, whatever. We'll split it however you want. I just want to be with you. But because his interest level wasn't that high, (laughs) off she went. Um, I recall I was dating this guy, and he was very much into me. And all of a sudden, just out of the blue, he said, well, if we get married, you don't have to sign a prenup. (laughs) We hadn't even been discussing marriage. He was already thinking marriage. Usually it's the women that have to bring up marriage with the guys, but this guy was already thinking marriage, prenup, blah, blah, blah. So, of course, I came back with my usual flippant answer, and I said, yeah, but you do. (laughs) Okay, moving on. Another thing that lowers interest level is playing psychiatrist, especially in the beginning. You know, you may think you're bonding, but that may or may not be happening. So you're not there to play psychiatrist. You're just there to keep it light, keep it upbeat, keep it fun and funny. So don't have these heavy discussions and just, you know, d- don't discuss things that are heavy. You know, your baggage, what's happened to you in the past, the terrible uh, marriages you may have had, terrible boyfriends, girlfriends, whatever. Just wait. There's plenty of time to talk about that. Forget that stuff. And if they try to go there and talk about those issues just change topic, just veer away from the topic. Do whatever you can to change discussion because it's not going to help your cause. The third one would be feeling that you need to clear the air. There's a misunderstanding, etc., etc. But clearing the air is actually the equivalent of begging because when there is high interest level, there's no air to clear. <laughs> now, women are guiltier of this more than men because they always want to talk everything out, but guys, don't. (laughs) 
So this would be the equivalent of, you know, we need to talk and I want to clear the air. No, you don't. Not if you want to keep their interest level up. Not if you want to raise their interest level. If you just have to raise their interest level and then there will be no air to clear because there will be no misunderstandings. Like, let's say you're upset because someone didn't return a text fast enough or a call fast enough or something. When someone's interest level is high, trust me, they're returning those texts and calls and whatever very fast. They can't stop themselves. They can't help themselves. So then you ask, well, 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 what should I do then if there's a problem? If I can't clear the air, if I can't discuss it, what should I do? You withdraw, all right? Because it means you're giving too much. They're taking you for granted. You're too available. You need to, at that point, spoon feed your presence, as Doc Love always says. I love that. Spoon feed your presence. So there's no need to say anything, no air to clear, just spoon feed your presence and ask yourself, is this going to help my cause or is this going to hurt it? And if it's not going to help raise interest level, then don't do it. Okay, moving on. Complaining is the equivalent of begging and begging lowers interest level. All right? Don't complain. Again, just pull back, withdraw. And begging definitely doesn't help when someone's already broken up with you because their interest level is already low and now you're going to lower, lower even more with begging because people think, oh, well, I'll just beg them to come back and they'll come back. Well, if their interest level was in the 90s, they would. But the thing is, if it was in the 90s, they wouldn't have broken up with you. So by begging someone that has broken up with you, you're just making things even worse. Moving on. Listing the things that he or she doesn't do or should do is the equivalent of begging. And as I just said, begging lowers interest level. See, when interest level is high, there's nothing to complain about. So, again, you're asking, well, then what should I do if they're not doing something or if they're doing something, etc.? Pull back. Go back to square one. How was it in the beginning? You weren't giving them all your attention in the beginning, you weren't giving them all your time, you weren't responding to texts necessarily fast, quickly, so just pull back. Again, spoon free your presence. And similar to listing the things that you don't like that are going on is lecturing. And again, <laughs> I have to talk about women because women love to lecture. Hey, I love to lecture, but I don't do it in my relationships. I prefer to do it on a stage and preferably when I'm getting paid. <laughs> lecturing is not going to help your cause. It's going to lower interest level. Do not lecture saying, well, I need to tell them that. I need to tell them this and I need to tell them that. Oh, no, you don't. Not if you want to stay in the relationship or keep on dating that person. And finally, arguing and fighting lowers interest level. You know, most fights are petty and unnecessary. There's really no need to fight over certain things. And it's not going to help your cause. You're just reacting to something without thinking. So just zip it. Calm down. <laughs> Go away if you have to, but do not fight or argue. It's not going to help your cause. So that is a list of the many ways that you may unwittingly be lowering someone's interest level. So if you have any questions or comments about this, you can contact me at my website, theartoflove.net, where you can also let me know if you are interested in private coaching. If you are listening to this on iTunes, I would appreciate if you would rate and review the podcast. And finally, remember that love inspires, empowers, uplifts, and enlightens.